Oh, okay. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, uh, solving uh, differential equations uh, 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 using matrix methods for systems of differential equations. So why don't we get started with our um, our uh, example right here. And so uh, somebody will hand us a, a differential equation that looks like uh, this. That's what somebody hands us. There's our example. Um, the first thing we'll do is we'll rewrite uh, uh, um, each of the coefficients in front of here in a matrix that looks like this. And uh, m prime here, uh, m will equal x, y. Uh, so I have the, so m will equal x, y. So we'll actually transform this derivatives. M, if m is x, y, then m prime is x prime, y prime. So these two people are m prime. And we'll transform that into a, a matrix, and then um, if we put the M right here, then this matrix uh, equation will equal this system of differential equations right here. Um, the next thing we'll do with this uh, matrix is, uh, on the, along the diagonals, we'll put a minus lambda and a minus lambda only along the diagonals. And then we'll evaluate something called a determinant. That's what these bars mean right here. This is not a matrix. This is a determinant. That's a matrix with the curved ones. If you have straight ones, uh, straight lines, uh, those are called, uh, this is called a determinant. And we evaluate the determinant by a two by two determinant, uh, by taking the diagonals and multiplying them and always subtract. So we'll always subtract, um, uh, the other diagonal, which is three times two. So this diagonal, uh, multiplied this times this minus this times this is how we evaluate the determinant of a two by two matrix. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll set that equal to zero and we'll solve this, uh, algebraic equation. Uh, I've multiplied it out a little bit to some of the algebra and then we factored it here. And so we see the two solutions here are negative one and four, uh, right here are the solutions to this. These are called eigenvalues of, um, a system of differential uh, uh, equations here. These are called the eigenvalues. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take one of the eigenvalues here and uh, replug it. Now we know who lambda is. He's negative one. And we'll plug it back in here. So one minus a negative one and two minus a negative one. One minus a negative one and two minus a negative one. And we'll just leave the two and threes alone right there. So we take the negative one, plug it in here, and we get this uh, matrix. And what we'll do is we'll reduce row echelon, put it, put this in reduced row echelon form. Uh, I'm not going to teach you linear algebra until I make my videos of linear algebra. So you will have to, you're supposed to take a course in linear algebra before you study a, a course in differential equations. So one day I will make a, um, a video on, uh, on, uh, linear algebra. Until then you'll have to go watch somebody else's uh, video on linear algebra. Okay, so we'll take this, and when you do RREF it, or you can RREF it on your uh, TI-84 uh, calculator, or uh, some of the graphing calculators, or RREF it on the internet using some linear algebra calculators, which you can find. Uh, this matrix will turn into this matrix when you RREF uh, this matrix. It'll turn into this. And um, we'll put an A he above here and a B above this uh a thing, and we'll say one times a, which is this guy, and the equal sign is over here. Uh, one times b, we'll scoot the b over, so it'll be negative b right there, um, and we'll get a equals negative b. And uh, again, this is linear algebra. We learned this in linear algebra, and of course, b equals b uh, would make more sense. Uh, in linear algebra, we find this makes a, a vector right here of negative one and one, and this vector is called an eigenvector of this differential equation. Okay, and so um, uh, this eigenvector corresponds to uh, lambda equal to negative one. Uh, well, we'll have to, since we got negative one and four, we'll have to do this all over again uh, for lambda equals four. So here I did one minus four, two minus four, just like we did one minus negative one and two minus negative one. The other two people, we left the same. So basically, this mimics this perfectly. Um, we get a... Uh, uh, we get this right here. Once you do simplify that a little bit, we'll R R E F this uh, matrix right here. We'll R 
RAF this matrix. It's not three RAF this matrix. And uh, uh, I'll just use different constants, C and D, instead of A and B, so people don't confuse, get confused. You have a negative 3C right there. You have a plus 2D. And I'm just going to go ahead and scoot that over to be a negative 2D. And we'll solve for C here. So C equals 2 thirds D, and D equals D, as usual. Just like we said, B equals B. We'll say D equals D right here, 1D. And uh, um, this forms a vector, just like uh, the negative 1 and 1 form the vector. Uh, 2 thirds and 1 form a vector. There's the vector right there. And um, uh, we don't like vectors uh, with uh, fractions, so we'll multiply this vector by 3. 3 times uh, 2 thirds is 2, and 3 times 1 is 3. And we prefer this vector than, than vectors with fractions. So if we can, we'll transform that. You have to multiply the number 3, though, times everybody inside the vector. Okay, so this is our vector for lambda equals 4. This was our vector for lambda equals negative 1, so we have our two eigenvectors, we have our two eigenvalues. Once you have your two eigenvalues and your two eigenvectors, uh, you can make up the solution to this differential equation. It's fairly simple. It's some arbitrary constant f e to the lambda, well, we'll do negative 1 first, and then, but if you do negative 1, you have to do the negative 1 vector next door to it. So f e to the negative 1 t times the negative 1 uh, uh, eigenvector, plus uh, g, some constant, e to the 4 uh, t times um, uh, the uh, the eigenvector of uh, the for lambda equals 4 uh, right here. And so this is our solution. Uh, we can also write this solution if we take the top uh, uh, things here and the bottom things. We can split this up into x equals the top, which is x equals this, uh, and y equals that to get uh, the original form that we had before, which is x prime and uh, y prime there. Okay, so that's how we solve... Uh, 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 for a system of differential equations, uh, when the eigenvalues are uh, real and unequal. These are real and they're not equal. Um, the next thing we will do is uh, do um, uh, for uh, uh, a system where our val eigenvalues will become, uh, they're the same, uh, but they're still real. Um, so let's go through this example right here. Um, here is our example. And uh, we'll do what we did before. We break it up into a matrix equation. We can review what we did before. and Everything's the same. We put a minus lambda along the diagonals like we just did uh, previously. Um, we do the determinant of this. This times this minus this times this. That's what I wrote here, just like I just did before. I do a little bit of algebra. You'll get this. Uh, solve this, and you'll get lambda equals negative 3 and negative 3 if you do some algebra on that. And um, so notice this time we have repeated, there's the same root here. Um, so just like before, we'll do for lambda equals negative 3 right here. Uh, lambda equals a negative 3. Uh, we'll do here. So uh, we'll do this with, now we know lambda is negative 3. So negative 4 minus a negative 3 and negative 2 minus a negative 3, just like we did before. Uh, we get this and this. Uh, if you are REF this matrix, you will get that matrix right there. Okay, and like we did before, we put an A and a B, and we, we have negative 1A minus B. I'll scoot that over and divide by negative 1. You'll get A equals negative B. This is, again, linear algebra. And uh, B will equal B, which makes total sense. 1 and 1 here. And so our eigenvector for lambda equal negative 3 is negative 1, 1. Now, the problem this time is we can't do it again for negative 3, or we'll get the exact same answer. So what we do this time is we do put negative 3 again, like we would with a different one. But over here, instead of putting 0, 0, we'll put a, the same vector we just got before, negative 1 and 1. And we'll RREF this uh this uh, matrix right here, RREF this matrix, and when you RREF this matrix, you will get this matrix. Actually, you'll get a, a zeros uh, along here. Okay, and um, 
We'll put a C and a D, just like we put an A and a B up there. And we did this before. A negative C, uh, a negative D. And uh, actually, we could just multiply through by a positive. There, everybody's negative. So if you want, you can multiply through by a positive uh, like that. And um, you have C, D equals 1. Um, if we scoot over the D, we'll get this uh, will become a... Um, uh, actually negative D, sorry, uh, let's do that, C will equal a negative D, okay, and so let's let D equal 1, um, actually why don't we let a D equal uh, 2, then notice that if, if D equals 2, uh, then C will equal, let's see, negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1, there we go. Okay, I'm just making this, you could do anything you want, you could do D equals 75 if you like, uh, just make it a little bit messier, so we're just trying to use small numbers uh, to solve this, and there's an infinite number of solutions. Okay, so what we get here is actually um, uh, our eigenvector then, therefore, will be um, uh, uh, negative 1, uh, 2, uh, negative 1, and positive 2, because you have to have the form, of course, of CD, and C is negative 1, and D is 2. So there's our eigenvector, and it's our different eigenvector than this eigenvector right here. So even though we have negative 3 and negative 3, we have two different eigenvectors. Well, now we'll write our solution, and our solution will be similar to what we did before. It's F e to the negative 3t uh, times our first eigenvector. And then just like we've learned this before in other differential equations, whenever you have a repeated root, you have to multiply by t. So now you have g, t, e to the negative 3, that's the same as this, and we'll have the exact same vector. But now these two solutions won't mix right here. Uh, finally, you'll have a g, e to the negative 3t, um, and this time, though, we'll use our other uh, uh, vector, our other eigen uh, vector right here. And what that will do is then this will not mix with this solution. And so we get our uh, solution to this uh, uh, differential equation right here. And uh, I wrote this out with a top and the bottom down here. So x will equal this and y will equal this. So uh, this is a solution in matrix form. And this is the solution in a, a simply a functional form like it was given originally. Okay, I'm going to put the last one on the next, uh, well, let me, let me see, hopefully we can squeeze this one in. I guess we'll try to squeeze this one in. Okay, if it doesn't uh, interrupt, then I'll have to put on my next lecture. I don't know if I can, uh, I can finish this one here. Okay, so this time we're going to have complex roots if we uh, look, uh, solve this out. Um, here's our example. Uh, we'll do change it into a matrix like we did before, where m equals x, y, we did that before. Uh, minus lambda, minus lambda on the diagonals, we did that before. Um, uh, do the... Um, uh, uh, do the determinant of this, that's this times this, minus this times this, but I, this time I've done a lot of the algebra because I've skipped over the algebra for you, so if you do this times this minus this times this and do a bunch of algebra, you will get this, and when you do these, when you solve for lambda here, you get 5 plus or minus 2i uh, when you do algebra of that uh, sort. Um, what you will do now is we will write this equation right here, 6 minus lambda, 6 minus lambda. And we'll always take the positive uh, root right here. Of these two roots, uh, we'll always take the positive root. We won't use the negative root uh, for reasons that I don't want to get into uh, right now. But it's always take the positive and do what we're doing and everything will be fine. So you'll have the 6 minus lambda. There's the 6 minus lambda. We'll multiply that by x. Um, or we could do A like we did before, and B here if you like. Uh, a, and B, and B, and B. Uh, then, then it mimics what we did before. Uh, we'll solve for A here algebraically, and we'll get this. So A will equal this uh, B, and B will equal B. 
I know that's a little bit messy. Um, if you simplify this a little bit, uh, you'll get this right here. Uh, you do that on a calculator or whatever by algebra. This will become this. Um, and it'll be uh, in the point uh, 1 and point 2. So we'll multiply by 5 both of these solutions, which we can do. And we'll get this, uh, this eigenvector, 1 plus 2i and a 5 down here. Okay, so this forms the eigenvector that we had before, but this is an imaginary eigenvector. These are imaginary uh, lambdas. So we'll have to, um, uh, we'll have to do something different. Uh, multiply times cosine plus i sine. So we'll do this times this. One times cosine, cosine. One times i sine, i sine. 2i times cosine is this, 2i times this is that. And then 5 times this is the bottom, and 5 times this is the bottom. So if you multiply this, again, matrix, you have to learn how to multiply, but this matrix times this matrix will give you that matrix. The next thing we'll do is we'll split this matrix up into the real parts and the imaginary parts. Cosine is real, put it here. Imaginary, put here, sine. Imaginary, 2 cosine, put here. Negative 2 sine is uh, is real, put over here. So all the real people put here, and all the imaginary people put it here. Um, 5 cosine is real, put it here. 5 i sine, uh, 5 sine, put here. We do not put any of the i's in here, we just split it up into real and imaginary. And these are our two eigenvectors um, to... Um, to write the solution out. So our solution will be, of course, the real part, 5, will go to the E. We've discussed that before in earlier differential equations lectures. And then you'll have a constant A times this eigenvector plus a constant B uh, times this eigenvector. So that person went there, and this vector went here. Okay? And uh, I multiplied this all out the top, and I multiplied this all out the bottom. Uh, right here, and you'll see E A cosine, uh, uh, E A cosine minus, uh, minus two sine, uh, uh, times A, uh, will be the, uh, top plus B sine, uh, and two cosine two T. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry, this two, of course, goes uh, right inside the trig functions, just like it did before in my previous lectures on differential equations. So the real part goes on the E, and the imaginary part goes inside the sine and the cosine. So when you multiply all these out the top and the bottom, you'll get X will be the top and Y will be the bottom. Okay, I think we snuck this one in, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and I look forward to any comments at the bottom. Thank you very much. Bye.